Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and no, I don't have my teeth in. I'm just, I'm tired today. So we're making a quick tuna salad, okay? And I'm going to talk to you all while I'm doing it. So let's put this down. I washed my hair, but I'm going to take a bath. I took a shower earlier, but I'm going to take a bath later. Okay. So let's do this. I chop up my onions, put into the salad. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Just a little bit, so if there's any noise, my husband doesn't feel too well, so I said, "What do you want?" He said, "Just make a twist to the sound." I'm like, "Okay," because I was gonna make something like some soup or something anyway, but he didn't want soup. So. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. I um was um listening to put this over here for a minute. A couple of um TV programs earlier. I don't watch TV much, but I do listen to some of them. And they're talking about how a lot of the store shelves are now some of the shelves are being empty. And I kind of noticed that the other day when I was at the dollar store, some of the things like, especially the paper and the the cleaning fluids and stuff like that. So I would probably, and because of the, the not just the COVID now, but the variant, the other one, I forget what it is, the Delta, you know, they're worried about that. So people are getting panicky again, which I don't blame them because not to pay less of the government, they're not really saying anything because I don't really think they know how to handle it. So I think that it behooves us to just put some peppers in. Stay safe and stay covered up and be careful, you know, because it's dangerous. I think the whole world is just, for a minute, just lost, fell off its axle. But God will see us through it. He always does. So anyway, what's everybody doing? It's been raining here, and we had a leak, so I had to call the insurance company. So it's been damp and cold and all of that stuff. So anyway, I'm here just doing my thing, you know, but I'm you didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. you didn't get anything. Okay, I'm on YouTube, so good at no bills. <laughs> hmm? I said no good, no bills. Um, so you know, I'm just like I said, just talking to you all and doing my thing. Well, when you finish this, just put it in the refrigerator after that. Yes. I said, just put it in the I know. Yeah, I'm just sick. Anyway. I guess there's just a quick one. I have the lettuce. I have this one. I have the Thai chili one. I, if you looked at my um, YouTube the other day, I think it was Thursday, I went shopping. So I bought, they were 10 for 10. So I bought 10 of them. I bought two of each. I bought Thai chili and I think the patio and ranch and all that kind of stuff. So he wanted the Thai chili and actually so did I. Clean this up. Put some of this in here. I've washed this off, but I did.
Sorry, have some. I thought like I told you something. Quick salad. But I had to say hi to you all. You know that. So, yeah, the week was not bad, but you know, it, it does what it does. But I think we're going to have to get a new groove. Sure, I'm company told me don't worry about it, so I'm not. I called them today. The good thing that insurance companies are open 24 7 now, I didn't think they're open on Christmas. Because believe it or not, some of the bigger hazard, hazard days are on Christmas and New Year's and the 4th of July. Believe it or not. I heard that from a nurse that was one of my students years ago. And she said, shoot, she said, emergency, she said, it always is like crazy on Christmas. Oh, and Thanksgiving because of the turkey. I don't think anybody's really frying turkeys anymore. I don't, as much. I don't know, though. My husband said to me, Let's, my sister-in-law did one when she fried the turkey. And I didn't really like it. I guess I'm just traditional. Who likes fried turkey? Tell me. And, um, but I don't like fried turkey. So I'm going to stir all this up. Get the onions all mixed up with the tomatoes. A wooden spoon. Onions makes a good salad. You just have to make sure that, and I am, that all of the, the tuna is in it really good. I told you that I'm going to try to define the recipe for a tuna casserole. I just haven't decided am I going to use a can of tuna or the packages of tuna because I have cans of tuna too. I guess I mixed it up. Okay, so I'm going to put his on a plate. Plate his and let you see it. That's it. Just plain old tuna salad. If you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And you can also buy me a coffee now. I love you. Take care. God bless. Give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.